What's going on guys? Today let's go over the Minecraft tab plugin. Setting up a Minecraft server can be challenging, and one of the things that people choose to use is a tab list to provide their players with specific info. But if you are a smaller community, you might want to use it in other ways instead, which is exactly where the tab plugin comes in, giving you a ton of unique features, including special animations and scoreboards. So let's go over how to install it. Before you start, you want to make sure the Minecraft server is running a plugin compatible version like Paper or Spigot. After that, head to Tab on Spigot, then click the Download Now button and save this somewhere easily accessible on your computer. Now, head towards your Apex server panel, stop the server, and then click the FTP file access on the left hand side. Log in and then continue to the Plugins directory and press the Upload button at the top left. On the next page, drag and drop the downloaded file into the upload area. And once it's at 100%, use your server name to return to the main panel and restart the server. Now when you join the server, you'll notice a new tab list with generic text. This showcases the potential of the plugin, but isn't everything to it. With this in mind, we'll review basic configurations for you to get started. To do this, head back into your FTP file access and then go to Plugins and then Tab. This area reveals important files for you to configure such as config.yml and animations.yml. There are several commands in game that can be used for this process too, but they do require OP permissions, so the easiest way to do this is going to be through the panel. Inside of the main config.yml file, you'll see a header and a footer for the tab list. Use color codes and spacing as needed throughout this section, then click the save button at the top when you're done. Each line will start with a dash and will be encased with single quotation marks containing the text. When you're finished editing this area, you can use the slash tab reload command in game or from the console. This updates the tab list and becomes visible to anyone on the Minecraft server. For those with multiple worlds, there's a per world section for you to configure. Using this can personalize your experience as some servers might have unique game modes with specific information relating to them. In cases where you want to further customize the tab list, you can use animated text, which are predefined in the animations.yml file. Determine the interval for each line shift, then save these changes, and return to the config.yml file. Use your animation's name in this format, percent animation colon my text percent. The default tab list includes some examples of animated text, helping you learn more about how to use it. For server owners wanting to present more information to their players, using official placeholders from tab can do that. These include the person's username, their latency, and how many users are online. All of these follow the same format, percent placeholder percent, with their corresponding names. I recommend looking at the official wiki to learn them all, but key examples are player, ping, online, world, time, date, and display name. Use these in your headers or footers similar to animated text. Make sure to save and reload the plugin so that the changes are applied. Another unique feature of this plugin is the ability to add rank prefixes, even hooking into lock perms or other group managers. This helps when organizing the tab list based on roles such as owner or admin. Additionally, their prefix will appear in-game over their character's head. And rather than only editing the tab list, you have the option to enable and create scoreboards. These appear on the right side of a player's screen, mainly for minigames or other modes. This is extremely similar to tab list configurations, as you're allowed to use placeholders, color codes, hex, and animations. This is located in the main config.yml file, requiring it to be enabled first. Make sure you do this before editing its section in order for it to appear in the game. Now, before we jump into the common issues, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell to stay up to date on all future videos. If you aren't seeing the changes in the tab list, you might not be saving the changes using the slash tab reload command, or you might just have an incorrect configuration. Double check your lines for the header, footers, or anything else in the plugin files and make sure to save any changes. The tab list is a super important part of having a server, 
and is a great way to get information to your players. But if you want some fun additions to try out, the Tab plugin really gives you the best of both worlds. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.